Okay, in this video we're going to uh, compare the 530W to the 550 and the procedure of how to fly an OBS radio off of a waypoint. We're at uh, McClellan Airport. We're going to enter the McClellan VOR as a waypoint and then in OBS mode dial in the 90 degree radio to fly outbound off of that. So to make that happen, of course, we start up the simulator. I'm on the 530 starting with. We're on the flight plan page. And MCC is my origin airport. So that's already set up. Uh, so first thing I need to do is enter the VOR for MCC. So I'm going to push the right enter knob to turn on the cursor. I'm going to turn the knob three clicks. So we get a K, L, M. Then I'm going to... Move the cursor over with the big knob and then the small knob. Go to C. Do the same thing again. Move the cursor over. Go to C with the little knob. Then I'll hit Enter. Now it's going to ask me, do you want the MCC that's a VOR in the U.S. or there's an MCC in the database that's an NDB in New Zealand? Well, it's an extra step, but okay, we want the VOR, which is correct. And now we accept that. Now we've got our flight plan from MCC. Now let's hit the OBS button and we'll spin the knob here by pulling down on here and figure out how to do it. There we go. And we dial in east. Uh, and then let's turn off the flight plan page. I'll just go back to the nav. And now you can see we're uh, sitting there and we're ready to roll. Let's apply some throttle here. So the simulator will take off. The, the airplane will fly outbound indefinitely on the 90 degree radial. Let's see how to do that with the IFD 550. Okay, so I've got the sim set up here. I'm sitting on the ground at MCC. Uh, on my simulator here, my controls are behind a menu, and I've got it paused. Uh, so we'll start there. Oh, one of the things I noticed on the 530, it defaulted at runway 34. So I'm going to go right here and just touch right there and put in, just touch this little field and put in runway 34 so it looks the same. So I'll go down here and touch that. And now we're going to start on runway 34 so that they're, they're both doing the same thing. I just happened to notice on the IFD sim, it defaults to runway 16. So uh, let's hit the side tab here. One of the advantages with the 550 is that you can do the flight plan while you're looking at your map. So I set the side tab and now I'm Sitting here on the on the uh, runway 34, which you can see here. And so now what I'm going to do is enter MCC. So I'm going to push the right FMS knob, which is this button, and notice it automatically nominates the nearest VOR in this case MCC. So I don't have to manually enter that. Geofill nominated it for me. I just push the enter button, or I push this FMS knob again to approve that. So I just want to come over here and activate the plan. So now. MCC is my active waypoint. I can come over here and push the CDI knob, which is push for OBS. And when I push it, it'll start flashing right here as it switched from GPS mode to uh, OBS mode. And you can see a digital readout of your OBS. So now I'm going to, on the simulator, I can turn this knob to dial in an OBS. So if you're practicing on the sim, use this knob. If you're in the airplane, you would just turn the CDI like you did over on the 530 sim. You just spin the knob and it'll dial this in. So I'm going to spin this knob right here and spin in 90 degrees. And you can see as I'm rotating around, my desired track, which is this little magenta arrow around the compass rose, is, is getting on its way to 90 degrees. So that'll give you an indication you're turning it the right way. But all you're going to do is dial this thing all the way around to 090. So now it's at 090. It says 90 degrees from on the waypoint. And you're ready to roll. So in the airplane, you would just take off and you're good to go. So it's pretty easy. It's actually a fewer steps. Geofill helps shorten that process as well. If you're practicing on the sim, one of the things I like to do is I go into flight control. And I'll put it on autopilot for a second. And that will give me these controls so I can uh, dial in an altitude. Pick a number. 
and we're good to go. So now let's uh, go back to follow the flight plan and turn on the simulator. Now we're going to take off. You can see our ATL altitude climbing. We're turning outbound. Of course, it happens a little quicker. We're not flying down the runway and circling back. but And we just fly outbound on 090. We can go to the map page. So we have a nice map on the IFD that includes obstacles. You can see here, if we go to the TAWS page, it's a nice feature. We got our data blocks here if we want to see those. So we can go back to the FMS. And off we go. We're flying outbound on the 090.